chickens remain a big issue facing football today. While the league has done much to protect today's players, retired players say they continue to struggle with brain damage decades after they hung up their jerseys. But there is a hope. Tonight, I go one on one with one of the greatest players ever as he and other Hall of Famers push to make a revolutionary treatment part of the football landscape. <laughs> Legendary linebacker Dave Robinson is at a clinic in Bethesda, Maryland, doing something he seldom did as a Hall of Fame player, lying down. You glad you did this? I'm, I'm, I'm apprehensive right now. <laughs> Robinson is taking his first dive in a hyperbaric chamber. While the FDA approves hyperbaric oxygen treatment, or HBOT, for 14 conditions, it has yet to approve it for treating brain injuries, even though 17 peer-reviewed studies show HBOT heals injured brains. Dr. Joe Maroon, a neurosurgeon for the Pittsburgh Steelers, says HBOT works. Are you a believer in hyperbaric? Yeah, body? it reduces inflammation in the body and also helps promote the formation of stem cells that can differentiate into new brain cells. It's an important breakthrough because doctors now say brain injuries are at the center of countless cases of depression and death tied to suicides, including military veterans and professional athletes. I love to hit people. Dave Robinson, who helped lead the Green Bay Packers to victory in Super Bowls one and two, was known for his aggressive tackling. But he took a lot of hits, too. How many concussions do you think you had? Oh, more than you have fingers and toes. Concussions left Robinson foggy about the games he played in. It's just that I don't remember. A fog that lingers decades after he hung up his jersey. I can talk to you and, and everything we said tomorrow, forget most of it. He's dealt with headaches, irritability, and sleeplessness, too. Do you think that your agitation that your headaches, mm -hmm. that your um, sleeplessness is yeah. all tied to those knocks you took in football? I never did before. Do you now? Yeah, oh yeah. That wasn't fair. Robinson found out about HBOT here at the Pro Football Retired Players Association, where he and other Hall of Famers, including Mike Singletary, Mike Haynes, Ron Mix, and Billy Joe Dupree, are on the board of directors. Who's had a, a concussion? Show me. I visited the board at a meeting in Arlington, Virginia. It was clear concussions remain a top priority. Who worries about the long lasting effects of all those concussions that you've received, even if it's just one? Are you worried? Yeah. No surprise, HBOT experts are on the agenda a lot here. Because I've done it. Another Hall of Famer, former Buffalo Bills lineman Joe DeLamalier says he got his life back after HBOT. I can't believe that everybody isn't doing it. I can't the issue? Insurance won't pay for the treatments yet. And like most NFL players who played before 1993, Robinson doesn't receive enough in his monthly pension to pay for the 30 to 40 treatments he needs. People make the assumption you played football, pro football, you must be rich. That's and you can't afford this. That's the problem. Executive Director Bob Schmidt, who was a quarterback for USC in the late 50s, is leading a push to get the NFL to provide regional HBOT clinics where current and retired players and even military veterans can get HBOT for free. I think if I can play a small part to accelerate that, that's where I want to be. Robinson and all the former star football players who are on the board are kicking it off voting to undergo HBOT themselves to prove it works. We're gonna use our retired players to really bring this issue forward. So you wanna change it and make HBOT part of Absolutely. the protocol? Absolutely. For Robinson. How was it, Dave? Pretty good, that wasn't bad at all. The path to healing has finally begun. Well, very relaxing, very peaceful. You liked it? I enjoyed it. But at 78 years old, this famed footballer knows He's racing against the clock. I don't get to that point where I don't recognize my friends and don't know where I am. 
I reached out to the NFL and the Players Association for comment, but haven't yet heard back. Meanwhile, a coalition of military veterans is planning to move Robinson here to Cincinnati temporarily so he can complete the dozens of dives he needs and defeat what he calls the opponent inside his head. Of course, I plan to follow him every step of the way. From Local 12, the West.